Hello friends, this is lesson 8 of Big Data Hadoop with Python. In today's lecture, we are going to cover the following topics. First, we'll be discussing MapReduce with Python and then Hadoop streaming. And then we'll write a word count program and then we'll be testing the program locally. In the next lecture, we will be running the same program on Hadoop environment using HDFS and Yon services. Now let's start with the first topic. So here we have uh, MapReduce with Python. So what is MapReduce itself? As we discussed in previous lectures, so MapReduce is a programming model. It is actually used for processing and generating big data sets. It, is first, mm, it was first introduced by Google. Now what is the actual function or how it is working? First, it is taking the data, I mean the big data, and splits the big data into different partitions or we can say the chunks and then apply the mappers and reducers to be processed in parallel. So this is the main function of map reduce as the name suggests map and reduce. So we have mappers and we have reducers. So it is taking the data, splitting the data into partitions and then apply the mappers and reducers. It depends on your program. If the program size is small, then we'll be having less number of mappers and reducers. So if the program size is like, sorry, big data or data size is uh, more, so we'll be having more number of mappers and reducers. So it is designed specially for batch processing. Now let's see the different parts of MapReduced programming model. So the first part is called the mapper. The second part is called the combiner or shuffler. And the last one part is called reducer. Now what is mapper? So mapper, it is the first phase of MapReduced application, which is used to process a series of key value peers. So as the name suggests, mapper is actually used to create key value peers. This is the main function. It will split the data and then will assign for each key a value. This is the main purpose. For each key, a value. For example, if you consider this sentence up to here, so what will do it? First, it will split this sentence into words. For example, this is a word. This is another word, this is another word, and this is another word. Like that, it is splitting each word from the sentence, and then will it will assign the value for each word. For example, for this word, it will assign the value 1, for this one 2, for this one, uh, sorry, for this one 1, for this one 1. It is assigning a, a, a single value for each and every word. So this is the function of mapper. And now let's see the second phase is called the shuffler or it is also called the combiner. It is the second phase of map reduce application used to. So these are the main functions sort the data, group the data and then the shuffle the data. So the data which comes to this shuffler is nothing but the output of the mapper. First it will apply the mapper, map reduce, it will apply the mapper. So creating key value peers and that key value peers which is the output of mapper nothing but the input for shuffler. So here what will happen it will sort it and then group and then shuffle the output coming from the mapper. So the process of moving output from the mappers to the reducers is known as shuffling. So I hope you understood these two parts of MapReduce programming model and now let's see the, the last phase. So the last phase is called the reducer. It is the third phase of MapReduce application. It aggregates the values for each unique key and produces zero or more output key value peers. So here, uh, so first we have the mapper and then we have the combiner. So the output of the mapper is the input for combiner and the output of combiner is nothing but the input for the reducer. It will again here, what will happen here? It aggregates, it combines and groups and creates again key value peers. Now let's understand this through this figure. You can better understand using this figure. 
see friends we have local computer or local machine here so from local machine we will be uploading first the file to Hadoop environment so what will happen in Hadoop environment using MapReduce it will split the file into different chunks so chunk 1 chunk 2 chunk 3 and chunk 4 so the data is split into different chunks and now here what will happen it is also called the portation so here then we will uh, sorry map reduce model will apply the mapper so the function of mapper is to to map the value or create key value pairs so for each this one is called the key for each word or for here in this case for each letter it will assign the value one like for a one for second a one for b one and for so this is called the mapping process it will assign and create key value peers like this it will assign the value one it is not like always one it may be any value so this is the the function of mapper it will assign a value for each and every token or we can say the word or in this case the letters and the second so the output of this mapper is fit to the combiner or the shuffler so what will happen here it is combining so here we had B so B is shift to the second group and here we have only A's so A A and A here we have all B's here we have all C's and here we have all D's and in last we have all E's so it shuffles it groups and also it sorts and now the output of this shuffler is sent to the reducer so what will do the reducer it will aggregates so here we have three A's and from three A's it will take only one A and it will aggregate or sum the values here. So it is three. So here again we have B three, C three and D we have four and for E also we have this one three. So after that, so these things are nothing but they are all combined and providing the output the last output as we are seeing it here so then we can download this file from Hadoop environment to our local machines so this is the whole process of map reduce for word count program so I hope you understood from this one and now let's see and run a program then then also you can better understand and see how it is working and before that see Hadoop streaming so actually Hadoop streaming is nothing but the mapper and reducer both executes that read and put line by line this you have to understand so we have the mapper and we have the reducer they are both Python executable programs which are reading the input or the data line by line so from the standard input so here we have standard input and writes again the output to the standard output which is called std out std in and std out these mappers and reducers are nothing but programs or executable programs which can be used to read and write the data if it is reading it will be reading line by line and then uh, from standard input and it will write the output to standard output so here we have again the mapper so as you know it reads the input from standard uh, input line by line then splits the word uh, separated by maybe it is separated by comma maybe space maybe uh, maybe tab like that it is splitting based on that and then peers and uh, it will provide as key and value for each uh, key and values peers so then we have the reducers so the output of mapper is fit to the reducer here in between we have the combiner and you know that the function of combiner is like grouping sorting and um, aggregating so here it reads the result of mapper from the standard output sums the occurrence of each word and here writes the result to the standard output so here the Hadoop streaming utility actually creates a map reduce or we can say map reduce jobs submits the job to the cluster and monitors its progress until it is completed so this is called Hadoop streaming and now let's 
have the program and see how how it is working so the program is word count program which is actually used to count the number of words and then aggregate and we'll see the output so i have already written here this is called the mapper and below this one is called the reducer so for typing and running the program first i will open the terminal and for that control alt t i am pressing and here we have the terminal if you remember i have already created a user called hd user so i will go to my user switch user and then say hd user it is asking for the password password one two three i pressed so here i come to the root directory ls these are root directory programs or files so i will go to home directory and home directory of hd user yeah here we have these programs if you remember in previous lectures uh, we wrote a program here uh, test.py and now if i type pwd so it is showing me i am in home directory of hd user so i will clear the screen so now what will happen here i will create a program called mapper so for that sodo g edit and then i will type here mapper.py since it is a python program so extension is py so it is asking for the password one two three so i put the password here the file is open so instead of writing the program what will happen i will take the copy of this and paste it for saving the time so here i will explain how it is working so see here friends uh, this is the python path you have to write it carefully and this one is nothing but the name which is actually comment here multi-line comment if you remember uh, so this is multi-line comment and the name given here mapper.py so here i'm using sys library and from sys library i am here importing or using standard input and reading the line from standard input one by one so before that i will scrape the lines if there are some space between the lines if we have spaces between the lines that will be removed and then we'll have only mm, consecutive lines and from the lines what will happen we will be splitting the words so one by one first it will remove the spaces from the lines and then from each line we will be splitting the okay the words and for each word we will be assigning the value one so this is called pairing each word in front of each word it will assign the value one so this is the function of map i'm saving the program and closing it and now again what will happen here i will create another file so sodo gedit dot uh, this time i say reducer dot py so here we have and then i will take the copy of this file here okay yeah control c and i will paste it here let me explain it friends then you can better understand how it is working so this one is called the reducer so the same we have python path and this one is the name of reducer it is a comment here i am using sys library and here i have created two uh, variables previous word and previous count so it is initialized to none and zero now i'm reading from so it means i'm reading the output of the mapper line by line so it is scraping again it is removing if there is space between the lines so it since uh, the values if you remember they are split by tab so here i also say the values or the words are split by tab and then if you remember it was like this word and for each word we assign the value one so this ones all ones or nothing but these are the values coming to this count and the words will come to the word here one by one they are all read it from the input standard input and they will be assigned to these two variables so first i'm converting this count typecasting i'm applying here so it is converted to integer 
now from here I will check and see if previous word is equal to word it means if in the previous word in this variable already we have the word stored so what we'll do for the second time you don't store the same word but you just increment the counter there so for example if it is also already stored there for example it this word it it is already there in previous word so for the second time whenever this it is coming you don't store the it word there instead you just increment its counter here it is doing that and then in else if this previous word is true it means there is stored something you just print that it will be printing and then again we are initializing the previous count to the count the new count and the previous word to the new word or the word which is coming from the standard input so here the last point here if previous word is equal to word it means it will be printing the last word also if you are not using this if it will not print the last word so this will be printing the last word also so i hope you understood this i'm saving it and then closing it right so see friends here testing locally so before using hadoop environment or hadoop cluster what we'll do first we will be testing our program locally it means in the same machine and then we will apply map reduce program on hadoop cluster so to test the python programs locally before running them as a map reduce job this is the first thing it is highly recommended to test all programs locally before running them across hadoop cluster so once the mapper and reducer programs are executing successfully it means we are uh, we executed the program successfully the program is tested and then what will happen they can be run on map reduce applications using map uh, sorry hadoop streaming utility so it means before applying map reduce uh, application on hadoop cluster it is better to run it or testing the program locally so how can we do that i will do it here you will better understand first i will clear the screen uh, sorry the screen so how can we run the program uh, here if i use here this is my map and this one is the reducer i have created two programs mapper and reducer and this is the input let me see what do we have within this input i will use cat input and these are the contents of the file it means uh, this file input.txt then how can we apply the mapper and reducer here first i will apply the mapper for understanding how it is mapping the values what will happen i say input this is cat input then here you use this pipeline and here since it is python program you have to use python and then i say mapper let us see how it is working so what we'll do for each word it is assigning a value it is creating key value pairs like this for each word see hello one word one hello one for each word how many times it is repeated for each word it will assign the value one as we discussed here in this figure see friends it is assigning the value one for each and every word right so this is the function of mapper now let's apply the reducer how it is working so the same thing again i will put here the pipeline and it is better to use something called sort and then i'm using again python and then i will put reducer here so see friends the numbers are reduced it is shuffled and it is aggregated here so how many hellos are there four hellos we have and mom how many times it is repeated three times is is repeated two times and we have sir repeated three times and word is repeated only once so this is how to execute and run or test the program locally now it means mapper is working correctly reducer is also working correctly so then we can apply this program or run the same program on hadoop environment so this you have to remember friends how to execute or run the program locally this is the statement 
cut the data since the data is in the same directory i put uh, there uh, there is no required to use the path it is reading the data from the same directory like that otherwise you have to mention the path like this cut from where you want to read the data so i say you go to like uh, home okay bit user and there i have something like let me go to its desktop whether we have something there or not yeah and put is there in desktop so like this you can use and then i say python okay we have mapper and then i'm using sort keywords here and then again i say python and then read is so see it is reading from everywhere you just provide the path so here since the data is in the same directory no need for mentioning the file it is reading the data right i hope you understood this program friends how to execute the program locally or run the program or test the program locally then in the next lecture we are going to apply this or run the program in hadoop environment so these were the topics we discussed we talked about uh, map reduced and then hadoop streaming and then we wrote a program word count program and tested the program locally i hope you understood this much friends